Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be taking you along for a little date night. We try to have one bigger date night each month and today is the day, so I'm gonna take you along with us. So the first thing on the agenda for date night is ice skating. Now for full transparency, Billy, not really a fan of ice skating. In fact, he pretty much hates it. We've only gone twice together. In fact, we went the first time for our like, I don't know, third or fourth date. And then we went shortly after that and Billy has not let me take him ice skating since. But it is one of my favorite things. I haven't gone in several years, so I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. We'll have fun. Are you having fun? Despite how bad I am? Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Alright, what's the verdict? Worst night of my life. It's like going to the dentist getting root canal. <laughs> Are you really equating those? Oh, well, it makes it dramatic on purpose. But he did it because he loves me and I appreciate it. It's like getting beat up for half an hour. <laughs> Ice skating is now done, part two of date night. We are going to go get hot chocolate and we're gonna drive around and look at Christmas lights. We did not put up any Christmas lights of our own this year, so we're gonna drive around and look at other people's. <laughs> What are you getting there, honey? What kind? Uh, you forgot that quickly. <laughs> I don't remember what I wanted. All right, so far all we have found is a lit up little light pole. I think it's beautiful. We are now home from looking at Christmas lights. Part three of our date night is making gingerbread houses, which we have never done together. I feel like this is a year of first. We carved pumpkins for the first time together. We're gonna make gingerbread houses and let me show you something. We got these gingerbread kits from Wegmans. They were basically the only ones we could find and we left them here on the table and Zora was sitting on this one, so it's a little bit dented. I think these come pre-assembled, that's what it says on the box. That wasn't necessarily our first choice, it just was our only option because no other stores had them. And then we also sprung for these little light candy things as added decor. What do I do? It's read the directions. It's how, right how, there. How? Um, about two centimeters, but then you can always go back and cut more. So start small. You're gonna put the tip on the inside of the bag, bring it down, and you want like a half an inch of it showing, and that's it. Half an inch. Yeah. You gotta like tell me. Well, you can read. I can. <laughs> Listen, I am off duty from teaching right now. You didn't even 
What? You didn't cut deep enough. Then do it yourself. I cut the same amount on yours as I did mine. Then how come I don't have really come around? You do. How long do we have until the icing? <laughs> uh, well, like when you put put it on the house. Yeah. Like five minutes, and it won't be sticky anymore. Oh, already on my finger. <laughs> They're good. Just a Krispy Kreme. Will not? No. Mm -hmm. Yes, please distract Daddy. I don't want whiskers on my house. <laughs> that would be a catastrophe. <sighs> You're really pushing it tonight. What are you doing? Hold on. <laughs> when I only have five minutes, you can't. Wait, five. Well, are you gonna stick stuff on it? You can always put more down. Oh my God, coming out the top. Oh my God. Michelle. Stop. <laughs> oh, I'm running. in the middle of something. I can't help. <laughs> oh my God, it's so messy. You've already showered twice, and then you're gonna have to take another one. Okay, I've already messed this up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Michelle. It's oozing at the top. <laughs> it's relentless. <laughs> I, when I go to put it down on the gingerbread, you were distracting me now. I just messed up. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. All right. You know what? <laughs> what are you doing now? I'm trying to spread it. I don't know if I <laughs> It doesn't spread. This is the most horrible icing I've ever. Well, it's made. It's thicker. It's like royal icing. It's how it's made. You just don't know what like you're a doing. royal idiot right now. <laughs> so here are the finished products. Um, this side not as good because you can see right in here where I messed up, and that's because Billy was making me laugh. This side looks a lot better. I put the little light candies all around the edge and all through the back. On the back I added a little window and I tried to add some icicles to it. And then I made a door and added some gumdrops. And that was the extent of it because that took me like over an hour and now I'm exhausted. Here is Billy's, aww. It's the highlight of the house, <laughs> Okay. Um, I think I had some stuff going. Okay. Uh, some gumdrops on the roof. <laughs> uh, it's some, 3D. some hedges. My door doesn't even have a doorknob. It just walked right in. <laughs> oh, it looks good. You know, for a first attempt, oh, I think we did brutal. well. Gingerbread houses are done, so we are now on to part four, and that's gonna be the last part of our date night. We always like to end with a game because games are fun and we're both highly competitive. So we are gonna be playing a game called Dutch Blitz. Billy actually got me this game for Christmas last year. He came up with some different gifts that were all related to Amsterdam and the Netherlands in general to surprise me about our trip that we were going on in February, and that's where he ended up proposing to me. So he bought me this game not knowing anything about it, but once we actually played it, we absolutely loved it. So if you have never played, highly recommend it. I will link it below. You can get it right on Amazon. Domination. All right, so I'm at 102 oh and you're at 41. God. Good game. <laughs> that is the end of our date night. It is almost two o'clock in the morning, so we are both going to head to bed. I really hope that you all like just hanging out with us for the night. If you did enjoy this type of video, please give it a thumbs up. I want to know if you all want to continue seeing these date night vlogs. If you do, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any future videos. As always, thank you for watching. I love you all so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I will catch you in the next one.
thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video and for supporting my YouTube channel. If you want to check out any of my older videos, you can use the two links right down here. If you want to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos, you can use the link right up here. The links to all of my social media sites, my Teachers Pay Teacher store, my merchandise store, and my Amazon store are in the description box, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.